A new set of items will be coming soon on March 11th, one day after the March update officially drops with some serious quality of life additions to the game. All of which, if you missed, I cover in my previous video, so click that link and save that video for after you finish watching this one. Now the new set of items isn't just a set of limited items either. It's the first series to be released since they got rid of crates. Blueprints from the series will drop after select online matches, and you'll also see them cycle through the item shop, along with painted variants of the standard items. But before we deep dive into these items, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell for guaranteed 50 MMR to your best playlist in Rocket League after watching the video. The Ignition series will include the first new car of 2020, the Komodo, and will be sporting the breakout hitbox. So for you freestylers out there looking for a fresh new face for your montage videos, look no further. The last major update brought us the Lucky Lantern event, and with it, the Forbidden Temple Arena, Lunar New Year items, and Lantern Lift and Paper Dragon Goal Explosions. I think it's pretty awesome that Psyonix is continuing the Asia Pacific trend with the Komodo being named after the Komodo Dragon, a reptile indigenous to the Indonesian Isle of Komodo and with the item series name itself as a reference to Indonesia's most active volcano, Mount Merapi. All I can say is whoever's in charge of naming things over at Psyonix is definitely a gamer after my own heart. Now, the Ignition series will also include six Komodo-specific decals as well as 16 other items, some of which aren't previewed or listed in the article. Let's go over the ones that were. First off, we have the Tidal Stream decal, which to me looks like it'll be a black market decal which means black market prices when building the blueprint or buying from the item shop. It's definitely like a smoothed out glorifier. You'll be able to do some cool color combinations with this decal. I definitely want to get my hands on one of these so I can see what I can do personally with it, or even what the painted version is going to be like. Then we have the Meteor Shower Goal Explosion, which as a huge fan of anything space related, I definitely want badly. Most likely going to be a black market as well, if the trend continues from previous updates and series releases. I'm excited to see what a painted meteor shower will look like, if it's the meteors themselves, the trails, or a combo of the two that are painted. I'm very excited for this one, but I'm not excited to pay the black market prices that I'm pretty sure is what they're going to be at. I wouldn't be surprised if when the item shop updates after the update, it will have this goal explosion in there. Then we have the Komodo with the Ultralex wheels and flame rate boost. The flame rate boost looks a lot like the boost from this season's Rocket Pass, the Radiant Gush, I think it's called, and I'm honestly not a big fan. I think depending on what the boost sounds like, we'll see whether or not players use it. The wheels though, those give me a bit of a Tron vibe. Overall, a thumbs up. We're also getting a new Octane decal, the Vertebrate, and Glaive wheels. The decal will depend on what finish and what colors you add to it, whether or not it looks good, but the Glaive wheels? I'm not a fan. They look very much like the Rocket Pass Helicoprion wheels, where they just seem out of place, like their texture doesn't belong with the rest of the game. The vertebrate decal, I would give a thumbs up. The wheels, yeah, thumbs down. Then there's the faceted Sentinel decal, which if you're one of the few Sentinel users out there, it's time to get excited. This is a really cool design, and I think this will look great with complementing painted car models. So if you have a titanium white, or a pink, or a cobalt sentinel, I think this is going to look really good. Then we have the tremor wheels, which I'm guessing are probably going to be an exotic, and will most likely be animated. Think of a ripple moving outwards from the center to the edges of the wheel. Overall, not a fan of them, but I'm still excited to see their painted variant. Thumbs up on both the decal and the wheels. And then finally, for you Fennec mains, we've got what I think is one of the coolest decals you can get for it, Ombre. I get a Huntress vibe from it, which is a decal that is currently in the Rocket Pass that you can only use on the Octane. It's a really cool two-tone decal that I think is going to be really awesome depending on what colors you use. And I think it's going to look really good on the painted variants of the Fennec as well. And then pictured here are the Orbit wheels, which have a definite science fiction aesthetic to them that I think, with a painted variant, is going to look very good on the majority of designs. The one thing I really like about the Orbit wheels, particularly, is their tread. I can't wait to get my hands on a pair of these. Thumbs up for both. I'm excited for the Ignition series to start dropping. I think there's some very unique car designs we'll start to see. Psyonix did a great job creating these items. I feel like they are definitely of higher quality compared to the Vindicator series, the last series that dropped before the crates disappeared. I can honestly say I'm looking forward to getting my hands on them. Let me know in the comments which items you'll be looking forward to, and which ones you're not. 
If you enjoyed the video or found it informative, please drop a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. Smash that notification bell to get an instant 50 MMR to your best playlist. If you can't wait till the next video, drop by the stream. I'm live on Twitch every night except for Mondays and Thursdays, link in the description below. And if you'd like to join an ever-growing community of Rocket League enthusiasts, check out our Discord server, The Forge. Link also in the description. Thank you everybody for watching, I'll see you next time.